Talbot Heath has around 600 pupils aged 3 to 18. We're a girls' school and we offer one-to-one -one iPad provision for all of our pupils, enabling us to facilitate our groundbreaking, award-winning educational model for the future. We've been on a very exciting journey with regard to our iPad initiative. Around eight years ago, we sat down and decided that it was absolutely essential for our pupils to be digitally proficient. We did our research, we looked at the products on the market, and took the decision that the iPad would be the right tool for us. We were ambitious, went whole school, all our pupils, and within two years, we'd launched across the whole school from pre-prep to sixth form with everyone integrating iPads into their daily learning. A few years ago, we decided to go with the everyone can create and everyone can code curriculums that were provided by Apple. I love these. They are something that has made such a difference to us at the school, especially having one-to-one -one iPad. To be able to give all students those digital skills, so whether it's using GarageBand, whether it's using iMovie or Pages or Numbers, or whether they're using the camera on the iPad to take photos, digital editing, loads of different skills. And those skills are only going to really sort of support their future lives and future paths, whatever they go on and do. GarageBand has lots of add-ons that are for different instruments from different cultures which they wouldn't ordinarily get to see or use and actually they're quite realistic sound sets so it's really nice for them to be able to actually where it's a touch screen interface it's not just being able to hear what the instrument sounds like but to see what it looks like and actually virtually play it. You can actually see the mechanics of how the instruments work so that's a really useful thing for them to study from instruments around the world. In the past, that traditional learning, you'll see a diagram of a heart. You've got no idea actually what it looks like. So with those apps and we can show them, we can put them on a hologram machine so the children can see them in 3D. And what we've found is then they understand it a lot more. We've also used virtual reality. So we've traveled through the digestive system. So rather than this is your esophagus, they've actually traveled down it. Again, meaning that they understand the whole process far better, especially our younger children. So with the block coding in Tinker, it allows them to build on their coding knowledge, uh, leading up to using conditional code, using some loops, which then when we move on to senior school, which is more of the text-based coding, the kind of hybrid Swift, it then allows them to move on to looking at functions, so how can they use the, the computational thinking concepts, so pattern recognition, okay, so if we identify a pattern, how can we turn that into a function? And then we can just use the function to make the code more efficient. Now there is no way I could go back and, and teach to the standard and with the level of engagement and fun that we do now if I didn't have access to that technology. That, and it has to be technology that is useful and clean and easy to use and everything kind of falls in together and the iPad apps really fit together with that really nicely. It's been amazing to go from working in a school where there are computer rooms, where teachers sort of fight over booking the computer room, to use computers within their lessons, to now just being able to pull an iPad out of a student's bag. We're not tied to a particular room now, so we can go outside, we can have flexible learning spaces that we have in the school, um, all the way up to our sixth form where they can use the breakout areas to learn. So it really has changed the face of learning at Tolbert Heath. I've been here since year three and we've always had them for everything, whatever we want to do, everything's on there, which is great. Like you can just carry around all the information instead of having like a million textbooks. It's really handy, especially in lessons. Like you can look at what you're working on and it's just much easier to access as well, I think. I definitely will want another iPad when I go to university simply because I've just found it so helpful. And even like taking photos of homework or different things so that I don't have to carry around so much stuff. And then also I've just found it so easy for research and saving links and things. There's just so much you can get on the iPads and I've definitely found it very helpful. When we were learning online, it was really helpful using Zoom and all our teachers uploaded all of our work onto Google Classroom, so it was quite easy to keep track of everything. We saw a really positive impact on the quality of teaching and learning, particularly in a pandemic, because they'd been part of this um, Apple initiative, iPad initiative for so many years, we switched seamlessly 
within a week to total remote provision. And they took it in their stride. They didn't bat an eyelid. They knew how to use the apps. They could interact digitally. They were uh, sending work through, creating things. Every discipline. And I think that put us at such an advantage as a school. We're delighted now to have been recognised as an Apple Distinguished School and the work that we've been doing with academia has enabled us to get to that point. So many opportunities going forward which we are excited about. We had our global Apple Distinguished School launch programme yesterday, so full steam ahead for us. <laughs>